thou shalt not steal. Unfortunately, not everybody heeds that particular commandment. Case in point, a West Side convenience store ransacked. The men who did it, still on the loose. But now, thanks to tips from the public, deputies know who they're looking for. Marcelino Benito with the latest on a break-in in a case that you have to see to believe. That's tonight's Not On Your Side Crime Watch. The guys in this video aren't your average crooks. Because to get inside this Super H store, the store had been broken into from the backside of the business. They did the unthinkable. They broke a hole in the wall, and tonight we took a look at it for the first time. Does it surprise you that they went through a wall? It it's, surprises everybody. I mean, it's unbelievable. Store owner Amy Inabi talks to us tonight a bit more relieved. Now she at least knows the names of the men who ransacked her store. Deputies still need your help finding Donnie Wyatt Burt and David Aaron Mosseri. These are faces Inabi knows well. Customers who walked in time and time again. If your steady customer do that to you, this this is the end of the world. Bert and Moseri walked right in through the wall before spending more than four hours in the store, walking up and down aisles, snatching cigarettes, booze, lottery tickets, taking their time. She actually tries on some sunglasses before disappearing with thousands of dollars in cash. It affected my business sharply because I can't replace what they took fast enough. And her sense of safety is even harder to replace. With all the technology we have nowadays and with the cameras, with the shutters, with everything around the store and it happened. Now in my house I don't feel secure because they can't go through walls now. But Deputy Tom Pina tells me he hopes they can't stay hidden for long. This first surveillance video proved pivotal to ID the suspects. You guys showed it and uh, as a result we received a lot of tips that detectives could then follow up on. Now they want to finish the job, but they can't do that unless you come forward and let them know where Bert and Mosseri are. Now all we need to do is go out and find them. Bert faces charges of trafficking and stolen property and first degree burglary among others. Mosseri is wanted for forgery. If you have any information on their whereabouts, do not approach them. Just call 911 or 88 crime. Marcelino, has the store owner been able to repair the damages? She has, Guy, but the last few months have not been easy. She has invested in a brand new high-tech security system. Now she can monitor her store even when she's at home. She's just hoping these guys are brought in soon. Yeah, let's all hope that. Thank you.